Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. Um, regard regrettably, the Congress and the FCC have already fired their opening salvo in the war on net neutrality and the open Internet order. And broadband privacy protections are the first victim. Yesterday, Senator Flake introduced a resolution that would undo the FCC's broadband privacy rules by utilizing the Congressional Review Act, or the CRA. And last week, the FCC stopped the implementation of the data security protections of the rules, which could make subscribers' sensitive information more vulnerable to breaches and unauthorized use. I fear that this is just a preview of coming attractions, and Congress or the FCC may take further actions to roll back these critical privacy protections because big broadband companies don't want to give consumer privacy protections the attention which they deserve. Uh, the privacy rules that are on the books aren't cumbersome, they're not complex or complicated, they're common sense. They simply, one, require the internet service provider to get consumer consent before using or sharing subscribers' personal information. Two, promote transparency by mandating that the ISPs tell the consumer what they're collecting about them. And three, ensure that the ISPs adopt data security protections and notify consumers if a breach occurs. That's it. That's what the whole fight is about. The big broadband companies don't like it. They don't want to spend the money to give the consumers that information. Uh, they would uh, not, as a result, have to abide by those robust privacy protections. Commissioner Clyburn, isn't it true that many Americans across the country don't even really have a choice as to their broadband provider? So if they don't like the privacy protections that the, provider, that the internet service company is providing, they don't have another provider to really go to affordably. Absolutely. There are very few places that have two or more options for and uh, it, individuals. And isn't it true that consumers pay incredible amounts of money each month in order to have access to the broadband? Absolutely. So killing these FCC privacy rules through a CRA would create an unregulated Wild West where captive consumers would have no defense against abusive invasions of their privacy by their ISP. The rules are on the books. The broadband providers don't like it. They've always fought it. Uh, they are, are, are definitely um, in a situation uh, where they think they can finally escape having to have robust privacy protections in place. The headlines every day warn us of what can happen with smart TVs, with smart devices, with broad, what the broadband revolution makes, place, it makes possible in terms of the compromise of the information of innocent Americans. This is just another example. Now moving over to net neutrality, the open internet order, the Census Bureau reported that the U.S. broadband and telecommunications industry spent over $87 billion in capital expenditures in 2015. Meanwhile, last year, almost half of all venture capital funds invested in this country went towards Internet-specific and software companies. And yesterday, over 170 organizations sent a letter calling on the FCC to promote economic growth and preserve competition by maintaining the open internet order. Uh, and I ask unanimous consent that this letter be entered into the record. We've hit the sweet spot. We have $87 billion invested by the, the uh, big broadband companies. We have half of all internet, uh, half of all venture capital going into internet and software companies. That's what you want. You want that kind of a, a dynamic. You want the innovation over here, uh, and you also want the deployment of broadband. It is happening. There is no problem that needs fixing. Commissioner Clyburn, has the open internet order really made broadband providers unprofitable? Is it really discouraging these companies from investing billions of dollars in their uh, networks? All of the reputable figures that I've seen uh, say no. 
uh, that an investment is occurring. As you mentioned, venture capital money is flowing. And according to SEC filings, uh, where you are to identify if there are any um, issues or, or barriers when it comes to a particular um, uh, process or, or an action, there was no identification of the open internet uh, being uh, a negative uh, when it comes to uh, investment opportunities. So I'm going to fight very hard to protect those privacy rules that are now on the books, and I'm going to fight very hard to protect net neutrality. And believe me, the four million uh, Americans who communicated uh, the last round uh, on these open internet issues are just going to be dwarfed by the number of people out there who are going to be concerned if privacy and, 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 uh, and competition rules, open internet rules, are taken off the books. Thank you, Mr. Okay. Chairman. Thank you, Senator Markey.